Okay, so so far we've shown you the wireless charging dock. We've shown you the cool cover. And now we're going to show you the dex pad. The dex pad, uh, again, I've never used one of these. We're going to figure it out together. So let's open it up. But the dex pad, again, turns this into, turns your Samsung S9, or S8 for that matter, into a, um, effectively a Chromebook. Something to take note of is there's something called a dex station, which was released with the S8. And while it's fine, it isn't near as good as the dex pad. So if you're going to buy one of these, don't buy the dex station, buy the dex pad. Okay, so apparently there's tape on the back, then this will just slide off. Come on, little fella. There you go. Uh, the box is nothing interesting. Let's just put that away. There's the dex pad. Um, doesn't show anything particularly shocking. It's just telling us to slide the thing in and um, have a nice day, which we'll do in a minute. Let's finish with the unboxing. So that's gone. Actually, let's get, rid get that out of the way. And shocker, another fast charger, another USB cable, and what is that? Oh, an HDMI cable. Isn't that nice? I didn't realize it came with one. So that's nice. And I don't think there's anything else in here. Let's pull this apart and just see. No, nothing else. So the HDMI cable is the big surprise. It actually does ship with one. Great. Okay, so let's uh, figure this thing out. So what we're going to do... Okay, well, apparently it shipped with a UK... Um, <laughs> power charger, which doesn't do me much good. Anyway, I'll just use one of the other chargers that I've got, so that's not a problem. So let's just take this little USB cable out. There it goes. And um, it's USB Type C, as you can see at this end, which is obviously for the, for the uh, for the device here, the dock. And uh, just before we go any further, see if there's anything in here. Now this looks like just, I'm going to open that, just usual garb. Okay, so I'm going to plug this in. You can see here that it has two USB ports, an HDMI port, and the charge port. So let's see what this does. I'm going to plug that in. And now I'm going to take the uh, fast charger, plug that in. And I'll just plug this into the wall. You can't see that, but just trust me, it's a wall. It's not very exciting. There we go. Now, let's get some of this other junk out of the way. And uh, I'm going to take this. I'm going to try to leave it in the existing uh, uh, case that I've got. And I'm just going to slide that in gently. Here it is. That seemed to go in nicely. Look, and the case is coming up with some lovely graphics. Okay, so now what do I do? Well, the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to take a monitor and I'm going to plug it in. So let's see what we get here. Sorry about bouncing around the video there. So here I've got a monitor and the dock. Now you'll notice that the, uh, the dock does not support VGA, the standard. It now supports the new standard of HDMI. And as we pointed out earlier, it comes with a lovely HDMI cable, so let's use that. Okay, so that's one problem. Uh, of course, this is, it's hard to see, but it is HDMI. And you can't go HDMI to DisplayPort. You can only go DisplayPort to HDMI. You can go down, you can't go up. So what I had to do was go find another monitor uh, that is HDMI, that does that is not DisplayPort. So let's go swap that in. HDMI being plugged into straight into HDMI. Let's get that done. That's great. All right, so now I've got a monitor that's HDMI. I've got a dock, it's HDMI, and let's see what we get here. All right, so. If you look at the instructions here, it, it says don't lift it up, don't bend it down, just don't twist it, just put it in straight. So there we go, in straight. Badink, HDMI connected, and let's see what we get here. There we go. That looks happy to me. So that's up, so let's go unlock this thing. Okay, after playing around with this for quite some time, trying to figure out why we couldn't get this to work, uh, we figured it out. And it's it's kind of annoying, so um, 
Uh, let's uh, go through and show you. So you take your S9 or your S8, plug it into the DEX pad. There we go. Now, here's what's annoying. You can play with this for a very long time. Uh, you can move the mouse around. If you plug in a keyboard, by the way, this nice little cross-hatched uh, touchpad goes away, so I don't suggest you do that at the start. Um, but you can move this around all you want. You can't do anything, uh, which is really obnoxious. So I spent an hour trying to find the dex pad settings, see if there's any software that needs to get installed or whatever. I couldn't find anything. Um, and I decided, okay, I'll just take another crack at the whole thing. And here's what the problem is. You have to go down here first and you have to go through this wizard. Isn't that annoying? So no big deal as long as you know about it, but I didn't know about it. I was just ignoring that wanting to get out. So let's click start. There we go. And uh, yeah, I don't need to see that. So I'll just click OK. There we go. So now I'm going to take a uh, keyboard like this one and we're going to plug it in. So let's go to one of the ports here and plug this USB keyboard in. And as I said, you'll see that that goes away. The, uh, the screen here, which is really obnoxious, I can't move it anymore, which means I'm required to plug in a mouse. Um, now, I, I don't really have to plug in a mouse. I could use a Bluetooth mouse, but that's kind of splitting hairs. The point is you need an external mouse if you plug in anything external. So there we go. So I've just done that. I've got a keyboard and a mouse now. And now I'm hoping everything works. I don't know yet because I haven't tested it. We're going to do this together. So let's go over to internet. There we go. Yeah. And let's go to, uh, let's type in uh, urtech.ca. See what that comes up with. These guys are jerks. There we go. And uh, let's see if we get anything interesting here. Let's go to, uh, let's just play this video. I'll just go into this, uh, uh, this uh, post and see how it looks. Yeah, it looks great and then play and yeah this is going to stream and we're on our way so okay so I'm just gonna close this now gone and let's just explore the uh, system there we go start button typical control buttons uh, a few nice little apps here and uh, nothing else particularly interesting make this larger and smaller Date and time, can I click on that? Yes, I can. What a shock. So it actually does a pretty good job of turning this into a Chromebook. Let's just turn into the, uh, look at the screen here. Yeah, so the settings, this is just deck settings. Uh, and something to note is you don't have those deck settings on the device itself. So if you were to go into your settings cog and then look at this, yeah, you won't find uh, those settings. Uh, you have to get it off of the, uh, uh, while you're in Dex mode, I suppose, or Chromebook mode. Um, let's see if there's anything particularly interesting here. I don't see anything that's I'm shocked about. So I think that's it. If you have any questions or concerns, please get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. Thank you. Bye-bye.